In this video, I'm going to talk about the idea of dividing complex numbers. Now, if you remember, or if you've seen my other video, Introduction to Complex Numbers, you'll remember that a complex number is of the form A plus BI, where A is the real part, BI is the imaginary part, and I is the square root of negative 1. And so the first thing I want to introduce you to is the idea of a complex conjugate. Now, complex conjugates have the form A plus BI and A minus BI. And they have a very interesting property when you multiply them together. So if I'm looking at this, I've got 2 plus 3i times 2 minus 3i. These are complex conjugates because the only difference between them is this sign. One is plus 3i, one is minus 3i. That's how I know they're complex conjugates. And so what's going to happen is pretty interesting when I multiply them. And if you forget how to multiply, you can go watch my video um, where I give more detail on how to do it. I'm going to kind of briefly glance through this. So first thing, we're going to multiply. So foil it first. Outside, that's minus 6i. Inside, plus 6i. And last, minus 9i i squared. Now when I go to combine these things, well I have a minus 6i and a plus 6i, so those cancel out to be 0. And another important fact to remember is that i squared is negative 1. So what this becomes is 4 minus 9 times negative 1. Well 9 times negative 1 is just plus 9, and that gives me 13. Huh, interesting. So when I multiply the con complex conjugates, I no longer have an imaginary part. It just becomes a real number. And this will work always when you're multi multiplying complex conjugates, is you will end up with a real number because the imaginary parts cancel out. Now a pretty quick way to multiply these is to do this. So I have plus 3i to minus 3i. All you have to do is add together, well, first of all, check and see if they're complex conjugates. These are. So I'm going to do 2 squared plus 3 squared. So that's 4 plus 9, and that equals 13. And so hopefully you see how these two things relate to each other. So that is a quick way to multiply complex conjugates. Now, let's use them for dividing. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to divide 3 by... 2 plus 4i. And so first of all, write it like this. And there are two steps to do it. So what you're going to do is you're going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator. And then part two to simplify. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply top and bottom, in this case, by 2 minus 4i. And I'm going to do that to the top as well. 2 minus 4i. So well, let's see what this looks like. This is 3. I'll let me finish that. 3 times 2 minus 4i. And this is 2 plus 4i times 2 minus 4i. So let's see. Um, the top is going to give me 6 minus 12i. And the bottom, well, I know that's going to work. That's going to be 2 squared plus 4 squared, and that gives me 6 minus 12i over, let's see, that's 4 plus 16, which is 20. Now, in order to be completely finished, we're going to write this in the form a plus bi. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to split this into two fractions, 6 over 20, and we're going to subtract 12i over 20. Then, just simplify each fraction. So I know I can take a 2 out of this, so that's 3 tenths minus. This one I'm going to take out a 4, so that's 3i over 5. That's how you divide complex numbers. You multiply the top and bottom by the complex conjugate of the denominator. Then, simplify down to the form a plus bi. 